early stories of African Americans in California are not well known. Southerners came to California to mine the gold and brought their slaves. And when the slaves came out here, they met three blacks who talked them into escaping or claiming their freedom. Tonight on City View, we'll tell you those stories. In 1991, I was asked to participate in this TV show called City View that was aired on KABC. And it was aired in February, I think, of 1991 for Black History Month. And it was entitled, In the Wind, The Black Experience in California, The Beginning Through 1950. I spoke about a woman named Mary Ellen Pleasant, who played a very large role in early California history. During her lifetime, there were hundreds and hundreds of newspaper articles written about her. Sacramento to organize, to come together, and to work as a group to uh, fight against uh, being taken back into slavery in California, and taught school for a year, and hired Archie Lee out collecting his earnings. Well, he stayed in California over a year, which violated the fugitive, the state fugitive slave law, which did not allow him to take. In the slave later back. part of her life, he to go she was involved in a very famous year. case that caused newspapers from all over the country to write articles about this woman, Mary Ellen Pleasant. She was a woman who appeared mysteriously in California with the gold miners in 1849 and went on to become one of the most powerful women in early San Francisco. She was a woman, a black woman, who established the West Coast terminus of the Underground Railroad in San Francisco. And she gave work to hundreds of escaped slaves in the homes of the rich and powerful. She was not only a friend to the escaped slave in San Francisco, but she was also a powerful friend and influential patron of many poor white women and ambitious and prosperous and upcoming white men who became the future politicians and power brokers of California. She knew all the secrets and sometimes, oftentimes, used them to her own advantage. She lived to be 90 years old, and it seems that every year of her life was packed with adventure. This video is just to explain to you how I found out about Mary Ellen Pleasant. I first came across Mary Ellen Pleasant in 1976, which was the bicentennial of the United States. It was celebrating 200 years of being a country. And I was standing in the grocery line and saw this commemorative magazine, Life magazine, on all the American women of significance or of interest for the last 200 years. So while I was waiting in line, I picked up the magazine and started looking through it. And I saw for the first time a picture of this woman who was supposed to be a light-skinned black woman and the little description by her name said that her name was Mammy Pleasant and that she uh, lived in San Francisco, California during the gold rush and she was a wheeler and dealer. Her claim to fame was that she gave John Brown $15,000 to start the Civil War. So I was really intrigued because I had majored in Pan-African Studies for at least two years and I had never heard of her. So from 1976 onward, I read everything I could possibly read. I called libraries and historical societies all across the country. I spent hours sitting in San Francisco City Library reading articles in the San Francisco Chronicle and Examiner on Microfish from 1849 to beyond the year of her death. I interviewed and taped several historians about her. I went to San Francisco and taped the locations she lived and some where the building still stood in 1990. And I went to her grave in Tukalay, California. 
I wanted to produce a grand documentary about this fascinating and significant American woman, but I was never able. So I've decided today, 40 years after I first heard of Mary Ellen Pleasant and three years of full-time research of her life, I will put everything I learned here on my YouTube channel. It will be in installments and I have no idea how many because she lived for almost a hundred years and her life, even as a child, was interesting and packed with twists and turns and a lot of drama. So please stay tuned. I will start this series in February of 2017. Thanks for watching.